am here for Ms. Caldwell's presentation on Melissa Mascari. Hi, I'm Kelly Carpenter. I'm here for Ms. Caldwell's presentation. Hi, I'm Tess Klutz. I'm here to watch Ms. Caldwell's presentation. Hi, Anissa Lee. I'm here to support Ms. Caldwell. Hi, I'm Sharon Goni. I'm here to support Ms. Caldwell as well. Hello, everyone. My question for you today is, what's your favorite fruit? Strawberry, grape, or maybe even watermelon? When you look at this picture, what do you think? Some sort of candy? But unfortunately, this is not what it is. Manufacturers are using up to 15,000 different flavors to entice our children into this. Vaping. It's sad to say, but that is true. Vaping, one of the most popular things is happening in our students' lives today. You would be surprised as to, how to, as to who has one in their pockets right now. Students share them amongst themselves without any fear of disease from mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact or the fear of thinking that they have become addicted. Vapes also come in all sizes, all colors, all flavors and they can be purchased as easily as going on Amazon for as cheap as $4.99 or as high as $40.99. Uh, now let me share some interesting facts about vapes. First of all, vapes have been around for decades, only becoming popular in 2017, taking families, schools, and healthcare workers by surprise. This was according to the Partnership for Drug-Free Family, Drug-Free Kids, Fall of 2019. Now, the University of Michigan did a study monitoring the future, showing that, that one in three high school seniors vaped before the end of school. Now, let's get a little closer to home. In Cabarrus County, Marcia A. Bean, Chief Community Health Officer for Cabarrus County showed some interesting facts. In 2017, middle school was 3.1% and high school was 1.7% reporting of using vapes. In 2019, the numbers changed from middle school to 5.7% and high school was 1.5%. Now in 2021, everything turned around. Middle school went from 1.1% to high school at 5.7%. Now please note that the reality of these numbers are not true because in order to do this survey, you had to say that you had used a tobacco product and students just weren't gonna do that. So, what are vapes? Vapes, or who does vapes, I'm sorry, so who does vapes? Vaping is done by those you least expect. It is not limited to the gender, nationality, or age. First and foremost, what I need you to know and what I need, you to, need for you to share is vaping is illegal in the state of North Carolina for anyone under the age of 18, and in some states, it is the limit is 21. We've all heard about vaping, but what is it exactly? It's the act of inhaling and exhaling an aerosol or vapor produced by a vape. Now let's see how it really works. A vape has four components. The cartridge, which holds the e-lipid, the heating element known as the atomizer, and the third battery, and the fourth is a mouthpiece. Now when you put all this together, it works like this. Inhaling, triggers the battery to supply the electricity to the coil of the atomizer. Heat is given off by the coil, is transferred to the e-liquid, and this can only take so much heat before it produces the vapor that the users inhale. Now that's a lot. This is according to the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Do malfunctions happen? Of course they do, due to batteries, do the vapes not being properly stored or from the person themselves trying to modify the vapes. In that case, you can get accidents as serious as this. Also, injuries due 
to digest and eat liquid can cause serious brain injuries due to lack of oxygen, vomiting related from lactic acid buildup in the body or death. Now, according to the Cabarrus County Health Alliance, all of these have happened within Cabarrus County schools except death. Now, there are over 15,000 different e-liquids, which three are the most favorite. Now, I want you to pay attention to the packaging and to see who the packaging is targeted, and you'll understand why. Jewels. The level of nicotine jewel devices can contain a pod, which is equal to a pack of cigarettes. And some vape users use as much as three joules a day, which estimate into three packs of cigarettes a day. Flavored e-liquids with nicotine and marijuana, again, notice in the packaging, that is targeted for our children. Beware. Always look closely at what your students or your child may be doing. They have now become the target for our e-liquids. Notice how closely they resemble everyday candy bought at your local convenience store. Don't be so easily fooled. Also pay attention to your mailbox. Unexpected packages may come. Pay attention to your credit cards. Unexpected charges may come. That is the perfect way for students or your children to get a, get contact with um, a, a bait. Be proactive. Don't be afraid to speak with the student. Seeing is believing. Look for glazed or bloodshot eyes, constant thirst, mood swings. Monitor your person's phone. Use your ears. Listen for the new lingo. An Addy is an atomizer. A VG is the vegetable glycerin found in the e juice for sauce. Use your nose. Students often have a often have a fruity smell. If you must question what you're smelling, check it out. Use your voice. Don't be afraid to inform anyone of your suspicions. Vaping does not discriminate. Vapes are small but carry a large punch and has the potential to destroy many lives. In closing, Whitney Houston sang a song, I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Help me to teach them the way and don't let their future become this. Thank you.